Howdy Temple Belton. I'm here with another great interview. My name is Dirk Gibson. I'm a Heart of Texas real estate agent with Real Broker. And uh, what you're watching is getting to know Temple Belton and our communities. So uh, I'm meeting people and I want to introduce them to you because that's what makes our community special. I'm here with James Copeland of Belton Mortgage. James. Hey, Dirk. Thanks for yeah. being with me, bro. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'm glad you came fun. by. Good yeah. afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Temple in Belton. Hey, it's great, yeah. man. I mean, you know, it's it's all come together somehow, you know, and, and uh, the division is uh, dissolving, so to speak. Right. Uh, you know, and we love that. Right. Uh, right. I don't know about you, but I've been loving this high school football that's starting up, mm -hmm. and, you know, the people are what makes this place special. Yeah, they are. It, it is it about is. the people. It is about and the that, people. And that Lake Belton High School up there is for, they're the truth they're this real. year, buddy. They're real. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just to get right to it, keep it kind of short so we, we keep our, our attention to these great people, I want to ask you a few questions. And we're going to talk about a little bit about mortgage and just about you a little bit. So okay. everybody gets to know you as a real guy Good. and how you yeah. help. There you go. So what do you do and why do you do it? Man, it's real people helping real people. That's what it is, you know. People say, what do you do? Well, you know, I'm supposed to say I'm a mortgage broker, right? Because I am for mm -hmm. 25 plus years. But what I actually do is I'm in the education business. That's what I'm in. Very well. Very well My job said. is to educate the people mm -hmm. on what they're trying to do. Everybody knows they have a plan. They know where they want to go. But in this industry, they don't know how to get there. You know, what does the average say? People do it every six years or seven right. years or something like that. Engage right. in a mortgage deal of some sort, a home buying into the process. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not very often that they do. So uh, so many of my clients were never educated on it. They just went with the flow, signed up, and they got their house. Right. So I, uh, I empower people with education. That is my job. Um, you know, once I, once I have done that and carried someone through the process, uh, explained all the options to them, uh, and I do tell them I'm not a you know I'm not advising uh, anyone financially. I'm not a financial advisor. That's not what I do. I'm a financial consultant. Mm -hmm. And it, you said I'm real people. You know that's what it is. People helping people, and that's that's why I do what I do. I will consult with someone on their finances. We're going to dig deep, and then I'm going to say okay, knowing what I know, mm -hmm. based on what you've got and where you're trying to go, these are the options that are available and then I'm always going to make recommendation. What is plan A? What's the best option? Okay, and the best option is getting the most bang for your buck. Amen. Keeping as much of your money as you possibly can and giving as little away to everyone else. Right on. That's the objective. So how do we do that? And then once I've laid that out and told them, hey, here's, here's the way, here's why I would do it, here's the reason I would do it, then once they've got all the information, then they can make the decision that works best for them. Super. And it's usually, hey, you're right. We're, how do we get the most bang for our buck and keep more of our money? And that's what I do. I call it making dreams come true, one right. family at a time. And that's, that's what it is. Love it. And you got to love it. You've been doing it how long? 25 plus yeah, years. You can't you know? do something that long without being in love with the work. Uh, you know, I do love it. I love being a part of the process. Um, you know, people say, hey, you know, because of you, you know, this happened. And I say, you know, you know, when we, people call them closings at real estate, closings, I call them celebrations. Yeah. We're celebrating. Man, when you show up and the kids are picking out, they picked out their rooms and they're excited. And, you know, it's why I do what I do. Um, if it's a refinance, you know, then that's also, uh, it is not as emotional, of course, but it's also very exciting mm -hmm. because we are helping someone, uh, you know, improve their financial position based on probably their most expensive asset and how that can work for them. And when I've helped someone restructure their finances to where they can get the most bang for their buck, keep more of their money, give less to others. There you go. I'm passionate about that. I think that's exciting. Yeah. And so whether I'm closing a deal on helping someone restructure their current finances or we're going to go get a new house, you know, it's, it, I, am, I am fulfilling my calling. Right on. Okay. Right I wasn't on. hunting a job when I started doing this. Yeah. I had a job yeah. already. I'm answering the call. Right on. Man, that's good. That's good. So um, what do you need right now? 
<laughs> what do I need right now? Let's see. Here you <laughs> go. Time is it? Hey, you finally showed up, man. I, uh, it, it is happy hour, yeah. you know? but you know what? You know what I need? I need a short stack of hundred dollar bills, dark yeah. about that long, right there. Uh, it, you know, um, it isn't really what I need. Okay, it's what my client needs. Mm, good, and that's the way I look at every single deal. What I do matters. That's why I do it. They need me. I know what my competition is. I hear the stories from these folks. It's what my client needs. And as long as I'm focused on that and fulfilling their need, and they're 100% confident that everything is crystal clear, that the decision that they made is the best for them, that's what they need. That's my job. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? When they get what they need, I get what you I need. You get what you need, amen. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's and I don't set stuff. the goal out there. I talk to people about this. You know, goals are external. You know, and a lot of us real estate and mortgage people have goals, and it usually uh, is, is set up on doing a certain volume. That's the way we speak in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's external. That's external. I look internal. And as long as I am operating internally the way that I am supposed to and doing what my job really is, then as a result of all of that, I happen to do a mortgage loan. Right. But it's not about slamming a mortgage loan together and getting a commission and going. It's about being a part of the process that carries the people. Again, I, making dreams come true one family at a time. I mean, that is what I say to my clients because that's what I consider being a part of the process uh, is being able to do, is fulfilling their dreams. And, yeah. Yeah. and through all that, I get what I need. Sure. But, you know, that, that's it just, I got to keep the focus. Well, on tell the us a little bit about what you've experienced and how the buyers have been impacted with the changes that are going on. Uh, we are, there's definitely uh, changes going on, you know. Um, everyone is, is, operating a bit differently these days but uh the cha you know cha you can always complain about change i'm a glass half full person there you go okay? you can always say oh you know that blah 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 you know and complain about change but change is good you can always also always find the good side absolutely what's good about the change um this market that we're in you know everybody goes oh interest rates are up you know uh, in 25 years i've seen interest rates you know i've done enough deals back then at 12 14 percent money um, it dropped down you know to eight percent and people thought that that was just absolutely unbelievable <laughs> because it was single digits it's yeah. great it broke single digits yeah, yeah it's single digits instead of ten percent or more yeah then we did six percent then we did the fives then these last couple of years it hit down there bottom 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 and those three percent money is a horizon Mm -hmm. And that was just, you know, ridiculous mortgage rates at 3%. But everyone got accustomed and used to that and hearing it. And then when things changed here uh, three or four months ago, and these rates did a drastic increase up into from 3 to the 5 to 6% money, and now it's come back down a bit. But everybody thought, oh, my gosh, that's, you know, that's the end of the world now mm -hmm. that, you know, that we can't get 3% money anymore. But the good part about that is that the regular person, which 98% of us are, was able then to purchase a home. Because prior to that, for a couple of years, Dirk, as you know, you put that house out and within three or four days, you got 10, 20, 30 offers. Oh, yeah. You know? And the person that didn't have you know, a bag full of money and, and literally thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars they would need to buy an entry level house, you know, first time home buyers. It just put them out of the market, sure, because they were competing against these people that were that were giving over asking price and doing the new thing that we call appraisal waivers, mm -hmm. where they said we don't care what it appraises for, we'll still buy it and we'll pay you thirty thousand over your asking price, and that that was happening on ninety percent of the deals yep. or more. And then they have to pay all that plus the down payment. You needed fifty grand. Yeah. And people have five or ten. You should be able to buy a three hundred thousand dollar house. You know, with ten, you know, five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, not fifty. Right. 
So now all those people that could not purchase at that time are now back in the market. Mm -hmm. They can buy a house today. Yes, the rate's a little bit higher, but I like to say you date the rate. Okay. You marry the house. Okay. So those folks that are now able to buy these homes that aren't having to pay 30 and 40 and 50 and 100,000 more dollars mm -hmm. over what the value of the home is, mm -hmm. now they're able to buy at the value of the home. Mm -hmm. The glass is half full. Change is good. You can always see good if you look for it. Change is good. Absolutely. Okay, and yeah. now all those people, and you don't have to bid against all these folks and there's more inventory coming, you have more choices. And when the rates come back down, it's always up and down. And when they come back down in a couple of three years, refinance. Yeah. Get you some of that three, 4% money again, if you're in the fives now, mm -hmm. if it makes sense to refinance. Right. So they're not paying, they're not paying. 50, 100 grand more than the house is worth. That's good news. That's good news. That's really good news. And the date is, uh, the rate is temporary. You yeah. date it. Yeah. And Sounds you're going to, yeah. Sounds so, good. you know, I, change is good. Yeah. Tell me, this is my favorite question. Tell me what you love about the Temple Belton community. Um, what don't I love? about it okay so you want a short answer i'm not good at short answers it's all good man bring it, bring it. uh the first thing that i love about it uh i i, I must say would be um my, my wife and i moved here a year ago to be next to our daughter son-in-law and the three grand sonny boys mm -hmm. 10 5 and almost two uh those boys are going to be busy for the next you know five, 10 years locally around here. Yep. And we live a mile from their home. Um, so that, you know, number one is really what brought us from Williamson County, uh, 33 years in Round Rock, Williamson County there, uh, and moved up here. I love this area. I, I uh, it's small town, Texas. Yeah. It feels good. Um, it, uh, I, I'm very pleased to be able to honor military folks. And mm -hmm. everywhere you go, you see people men and women in uniforms uh, you know, and, able, and able to thank that person for what they're doing to keep us safe. And um, it's nice, it's nice to be able to, uh, you know, to, to be able to recognize those people. And everyone in Belton is, uh, that I've encountered is, is very friendly. I go to HEB and fill up my truck with gas and every single time I'm there, I, you, you, cannot, you cannot not get in a conversation when you're filling up your gas tank at HEB or anywhere else, probably. Yeah. But people just, they reach out, they're friendly. Yeah. I like the gin, mm -hmm. a couple, couple little cool restaurants there. Yeah. Um, our restaurant uh, next to the square down here on the creek, on Nolan Creek is what the gin is. I didn't say I like gin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the local <laughs> restaurant on the water. <laughs> Yeah, fire water. Yeah, um, man, I love Lake Belton. I've got a boat on there. Yeah, it's a mile from my house. I love uh, Dead Fish Grill. Yeah, everything, and and I love my office spot down here on Main Street. So, you know, again, what don't I love right. about Belton, man? It's Belton is a good feel. Good, good yeah. words. Good people. Man. Good words. Good town. Good feel. I I can only echo that. Yeah, we got everything. Yeah, we got everything. And it feels small, and it feels quaint, and it feels intimate. It's small just town, good. Texas, yes, man. Sir. There, there's American and Texas flags still a flying, man. Right on. Yeah, right yeah, on. like everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good spot. Well, James, I want to thank you for allowing us to have this conversation on camera and let these people know who you are. Yeah, you bet. It's great to, to be with you, and good to hang out a little bit this afternoon. Yeah, same, Dirk. Same, absolutely. Look forward to helping you, know, you and I yep. together helping make dreams come true right on yeah and we're going to help these folks out and get them in houses and and make sure that they understand every step of the way so that they that they know that they've made the right decisions and i know that you and i together you know can do that and bless people and and bless and that just blesses us back that's why we do what we do absolutely absolutely well thanks again brother you got it all right you got it thank you thank you for watching getting to know temple and belton texas we like to call it god's country 
If you or anyone you know would like to engage in our program to support our local businesses and our communities, please call me, 254-913-5326. I'm Dirk Gibson, Heart of Texas Realtor with Real Broker. I'm never too busy for your referrals, and I'm always ready to serve your real estate needs. Let's talk soon.